Hey Libra, what's going on? Hope you are doing very, very well. Uh, my name is Diane and this is Madam Butterfly Tarot. And it's gonna be a general reading for March, but you know, it's a timeless reading. So whenever you happen to find this is when you were meant to see it. You are very, very welcome here, Libra. Thank you very much for checking out the channel and the reading. I appreciate it a lot. And if you feel called to like and subscribe for me, I would appreciate that a lot as well. And I am taking uh, personal readings at the moment as well, Libra. And spiritual life coaching sessions so if you feel like checking those out or booking with me um, the information will be in the description box below you know I used to shuffle like this all the time but then I started getting a lot of pain in my hands and I couldn't do it so it's actually the first time in months that I've actually been able to do it so that's like exciting for me <laughs> sad little life. <laughs> okay, so, right, I'll leave that there. Right, I've already shuffled these decks just to save time. So what is going on for Libra? Wow, I am grateful for the earth. Okay, that's an interesting card. They were very decisive about the way they pulled that out. So there could be a message here, just spitball in here, but there could be a message here about um, making sure you're grounding your energy. Oh, you need to rest or meditate. So you have the four of swords here. Uh, t uh, time to rest or take a vacation. Allow more time before making a decision. Meditation may provide answers. So I'm going to throw some stuff at you here and you decide what's resonating for you. But... Um, you might, they might be asking you to meditate more because you have I am grateful for the earth which talks about grounding your energy like bringing your energy back down into your root chakra, into your body so you're not feeling like super anxious or overwhelmed because um, there might be messages coming in from spirit for you that you're not able to receive because you're not grounded if you want to know more about all that stuff you should check out my other channel how to train your caterpillar, it's all there, but how to open your root chakra and stuff. You may be in need of a rest, Libra, like you might be feeling really, really tired or you might be overworked, so you might need a rest. Um, there's, they might be saying as well, like, you know, even like taking a day off or a week off or something like that, just to ground your energy or to get yourself like out into the park or out into nature or something like that or taking a little even like a little drive somewhere where there's, you know, trees and plants and things like that might be really good for you at the moment. Wow, you have the wow, your cards are just coming straight out. You have the King of Pentacles here. So, I, I think you're doing very well in terms of money, or you're about to, or there's someone with money coming in. I really feel there's something here about a rest coming up for you, like taking time off work just to relax. Because I think you've been working very hard. Wow, oh my god, the cards are just coming out. All right, I think you're overthinking. I think that's one of the reasons that they want you to ground your energy. Because you know when you're ungrounded, just for people that don't know what I'm talking about, when you're ungrounded, it leads to feelings of anxiety because there's so many thoughts. Um, you know, the Nine of Swords talks about like expecting the worst, self-fulfilling prophecies, overthinking, sleepless nights. So some of you may not actually be sleeping. If you're having trouble sleeping, it's because you need to ground your energy. So try listening to a root chakra frequency. If that sounds like you, I'll leave one in the 
comments or something just remind me if I forget because I do forget <laughs> um, but going for it like you know if you're not sleeping being outside in nature if that's a possibility for you might be helpful for you because I think you're you're overthinking you're very very smart and you're overthinking and it could be to do with money for some of you, let me see what else comes out. These are very specific messages. Because <laughs> you know, the King of Pentacles talks about someone who a lot of people rely on. You know, they're very practical, they're very stable. You might have a lot of people relying on you. You know, you might um, be the money earner, the breadwinner, <laughs> that's the phrase. Uh, like the breadwinner, or you might be like the boss of a company or the boss like in your workplace or something there's like a lot of responsibility to act in a certain way like to appear like you've got all your shit together and you're calm and all this kind of thing um just because of your energy it could be that people come to you for a lot of favors because they're always like oh this person will know what to do you know but behind it there's like overthinking or there's worrying or there's exhaustion or there's anxiety that they would they're saying is not good for you okay because you you matter too Libra right <laughs> of course it's not just about everyone else okay what else for Libra Cards are not coming out. Okay, what's going on for Libra? Thank you. The Six of Pentacles, so many Pentacles <laughs> so far. It's all Pentacles and money. Are you worrying about money? The Six of Pentacles, you're very giving. I think you're giving too much to other people. Too much you know but it's true like you can give too much to other people because you're obviously you're very generous uh, I think you might be having problems like balancing your like all your stuff that you've got to do as well that could be some of it Oh my god, what the hell, Libra? You have the Queen of Pentacles. <laughs> so you have the King and the Queen of Pentacles here. Oh, that's nice. Okay, so there's someone coming in here. Okay, you can be who you want here, the King or the Queen. Um, and you know, obviously if you're two Queens, you can insert that here too. But um, there's, there's some kind of partnership that's going to come in here for you. And the Six of Pentacles is like very equal give and take, which is good. Because I feel like you're at the point where you're like, oh my god, like I give so much to people. Because I think you have a lot of responsibility for some reason. Whether that's just like as a, you know, in your family or your friends or your work or something. There's like, you have a lot of, I think for a lot of you it's professional. But there's like a lot of responsibilities and you're very generous. So you're always giving to people. But there's someone coming in that's like your match that's going to be able to like support you as much as you support other people you know um I feel like whoever this person is I mean these are not love readings so it could be a business partner or something someone that's going to help you in work but um yeah the two of pentacles here as well whoever this is I feel like you're good at making money they're good at making money you guys could each have your own businesses something like that as well Two of Pentacles, so many Pentacles, Libra. <laughs> so many Pentacles. So this is about balance. Look, there's more Pentacles. Um, this is about balance. There's a connection coming in that will be very balanced. This person may have been sent to help you and you to help them, like, because you balance each other out in some way. Um, and you know, the king and the queen of pentacles, that's always someone that's got your back. 
you know these are two people that are very practical very pragmatic so it's like you can work together to really build something solid oh look the ten of cups wants to come out not going to take it though um not right now what else for libra The, oh, the fool. Well, so you have a new beginning coming in here. This may be deciding to take a leap of faith with someone. Because you may not do that a lot. Yeah, the ace of swords. So there's some kind of, it's like making a decision to partner up with someone. Uh, clarify this King of Pentacles. Mm. That's a lot. Uh, clarify this King of Pentacles. Just give me one, please. This um, King of Pentacles does not move fast. <laughs> whoever they are. That could be you or that could be someone coming in. Uh, you have the balance card here, temperance. So whoever this person is, this king of pentacles, um, this could actually represent you, even though it's a man. You know, if you're a woman, this could still represent you. Um, because the, the temperance always, you know, it's associated with Sagittarius. So this person could also have Sagittarius, but uh, it's making me think of Libra. Because, you know, it's all about balance. Whoever this person is, they don't move fast. <laughs> um, they take their time. They're very, very balanced though. They're, they're like an angel. You know, that. look at that. This person looks like, like an actual angel. You know, whoever this King of Pentacles is, is very giving, very loving, very hardworking. Okay, what else for Libra? I like it when they come out very clearly like that. <laughs> so you have the Six of Pentacles and the Two of Cups. This is just beautiful. There is some kind of partnership coming in where it will be equal give and take. I have to say, I feel like one of you is more slow moving and the other one is like more fiery or something like that. Um, so take that as it resonates, but still very practical. Like whoever the, the fiery one is, they're still very practical, you know, very creative person. So you could both be like equally creative, but one of you is like slightly more practical. And the other one might be slightly more, I don't want to say flaky, but um, yeah, fiery, right? They have a tendency to maybe jump into things, whereas this King of Pentacles is like, no, let's think about things, you know? So yeah, definitely some kind of partnership here with the Two of Cups, equal give and take. Um, it's like a mutually beneficial partnership, whatever that means for you. And with the Two of Cups, this could certainly be love. You know, the Two of Cups represents like a soulmate. This card always makes me think, I just think it's funny. You see how they're just under the water? <laughs> just the two of them together. It's just like, well, how, how else do you describe that? Just like two, two little peas in a pod in their own little world. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, okay, let's see. Uh, what else for a Libra? Wow, you have the, oh, okay. The Queen of Pentacles with the Five of Pentacles. Okay, <laughs> there's, I don't wanna say it's, okay. You're gonna, oh my gosh, I, I, you know, I feel like you're, you're gonna be really happy here. The Ace of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles have just come out together with the Nine of Cups. So if you are looking for love, like this is love coming in. And with the Ten of Pentacles, you know, that's like a commitment, um, being very abundant together, building a life together, you know, the house, 
the kids, the mortgage, all that stuff. And you have the Ten of Wands, which talks about like equally, you know, if you've been feeling very burdened, because I kind of feel like this might be you, you know, you just feel like you have a lot to do for other people or it would just be nice to share the load in some way, right? To help, even just to talk to someone, the Ten of Wands can just be about sharing the load in terms of like having to someone to like, you know, support you and be like, yeah, I get it, like, <laughs> I get it. But if it is love, this is someone new, okay? Someone new coming in. <clears throat> and with the Nine of Cups, it's gonna be total wish fulfillment. However, I do feel like this Queen of Pentacles here, they might, mm, I feel like they maybe have some Aries in their chart, like they're quite fiery um, and they maybe don't like accepting help from other people. The reason I'm saying that is because, you know, it actually says it on this card, the wisdom to accept help from others and if you look at her, right, if I can get the card to focus. You see how she looks like a little, <laughs> like, it's like, I, I'm just used to doing things on my own, right? Like, I don't need, I don't need help. <laughs> you know, that kind of thing. Um, so this could be someone that's learning, you know, how, how to, yeah, work with other people or something like that, okay? <laughs> that's you, that could be you. Um, Clarify this Two of Pentacles. You know what though, you guys are really practical. Look, there's more Pentacles. I was gonna say like all the green that you see is Pentacles. <laughs> so, um, this could be like fire and earth here as well for someone, doesn't have to be. Um, but there is, it's like you guys are both very practical and very focused on like, <coughs> sorry, I don't know why I'm losing my voice, very focused on like creating things, like creating, like building solid foundations and things. But with the Two of Cups, there really is like a very strong emotional bond here. Um, yeah, <coughs> excuse me, clarify the Two of Pentacles. The star, oh my god. <laughs> I think you guys are gonna bring like playfulness into each other's lives, right? Because with the two of pentacles, I feel like both of you maybe have a lot of stuff going on, like in terms of practicality. Um, and then with the star, this is like kind of a wish fulfillment, like happy times, you know, more of a free-flowing energy. So it's almost like this is what you kind of bring into each other's lives. And one more, please clarify the full. Oh wow, you have the Empress. Someone here, I kind of feel like it's this Queen of Pentacles, uh, does have a little bit of, like, a little bit of defensiveness that they've been working through, okay? They're through it now though, okay? <clears throat> I just feel like this is someone that's used to doing stuff on their own, this person. Or they've had to do a lot of stuff on their own or something like that. Um, but you guys are going to be like a wish fulfillment for each other. Yeah, the star with the ace of wands. Okay, tell me about this five of pentacles. <clears throat> you know, I feel like this is someone that's been left out in the cold, actually, this Queen of Pentacles here. Um, this is someone that's kind of been used to being left out in the cold. Clarify the Five of Pentacles, yeah. 
four of pentacles. Clarify the, uh, whoa, hold on. <laughs> Clarify the five of pentacles. Easy, they're being <laughs> clarified. Okay, you have the Wheel of Fortune. I do feel like this is someone that they're kind of used to being left out in the cold, so they, they have a tendency to sort of hold themselves back. Um, but you know, it, it's time for that to, to move forward. You know, I think this person's moving into like a more optimistic frame of mind. Um, yeah. I think spirits almost kind of intervened a little bit here, <laughs> you know. Uh, anything else about this Five of Pentacles? Yeah, okay. So this is someone that's interesting. So this could be the person that's coming into your life or you could be the Empress here. Uh, excuse me, because you have the Empress twice. So there's some kind of new beginning coming in either with this Empress or you know, you're moving into your Empress energy for this new beginning to happen. And the Empress talks about receiving, you know, being worthy of like receiving love, receiving unconditional love, um, receiving, just receiving in general, you know. Uh, when you move into the Empress energy, it makes things a lot easier to flow to you, including abundance. Um, Because there is some kind of heartbreak that is associated with this Empress. Like they've been through something, they've had their heart broken or something like that. You know, so that is um, the messages. I do feel like, yeah, for a lot of you, this is love. This is going to be love. Anything about this Two of Cups here? Oh wow, the ace of wands. <laughs> okay, so you know, this is someone ah, you could be dealing with a Virgo uh, because that came out for Virgo's reading like literally that combination the two of cups with the ace of wands, or you could have some Virgo in your chart. Um, like, there's something about this person that's like very you both kind of inspire each other. So even if this is not about love, this is like a business partnership or something where you guys come together, you feel very inspired, you guys make a lot of money together. Um, but if it's love, you know, I feel like there'll be, you know, number one with the Ace of Wands, like a strong physical attraction. But there's still this like inspiring thing. I kind of feel like you guys might, it just, always makes me think with this two of cups because they're like under the water and it's just the two of them and they're kind of looking at the camera like just leave us alone <laughs> do you know what I mean um you guys might spend a lot of time together or you you're going to really value each other's company because I think you find each other to be very inspiring and you both kind of receive from each other in some way you know, like you're both very fulfilling for the other person. So sort of spending time together is just very um, satisfying for you both. Like it's very healing. And I feel also, wow, did I talk that long? I didn't mean to. Um, sorry, the camera cut out. It's, um, I think you're going to really like, because there, there's like a very strong emotional connection. So you guys might actually have like some kind of past life connection or something like that like with the two of cups, it's like a very strong emotional connection. It's like, this person gets me. That's what the two of cups is. Like this person, this dude or this dudette gets me. So I think that's why you like spending so much time together. So this could be a best friend, you know, if you're not looking for love, but there's something here about finding each other to be very inspiring. Um, Yeah, and I feel like you're going to get along really well, like you'll work together really, really well. Um, this came out for Virgo too, there may be some kind of idea 
that you guys have together in the future. Like you might have some, some kind of creative idea or something or a business idea or something like that about something you want to do. Because I feel there's a lot of deep dives, like they're so far under the water, you guys have, you, you might have very deep conversations. I think that's part of what you give to each other. You know, it's like you find something in this person that, I don't know, it kind of feels like you can only really get it from this person, or it's very rare, or this person understands you in a way that like, it's only, you know, it just works really well, like it's a very deep connection. So that's your messages, Libra. I'm going to stop rambling. I hope you enjoyed the reading. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe for me if you feel like doing that. I'd appreciate it a lot. And as always, I wish you many blessings, love and light. Take care.